a variable is a name that refers to a value. You can think variables as labeled containers that contains values. Okay, we talked about values before in the previous video, values and types. So a variable is a name that refers to a value and you can visualize them as containers, contain, labeled containers containing values. Okay, for example, consider a set of containers containing spices. Okay, if they are not labeled, when you are following a recipe and want to access a certain spice, you will run into trouble. Okay, therefore we label these containers. So, for example, label in the sea salt contain the label sea salt in the sea salt container is reference to the sea salt inside the container. Label coriander on the coriander container is referring to the referencing to the referring to coriander inside the container then here word rosemary in the container is referring to rosemary inside the container okay so the label of a variable is referring to the value inside the variable when you are following a recipe it's easy to access the required spices so you can think variables as labeled containers the label refers to the value inside the container so we create variables by using assignments operators so for example example a statement like this is assignment statement okay here we are assigning the value 1 with the label a so you can consider it as we are having a label container labeled by a and having value 1 inside it so every time we refer to a here onwards we are referring to the 1 okay so this equal sign here we call it assignment operator it is different from the equal operator in mathematics when you want to use the equal operator in mathematics in python we use a different symbol we will talk about that later okay so for now know this is assignment operator here we are assigning the label a to this one so you can consider this as a variable as a container labeled a and this a refers to the value 1 inside the container okay so let's look at some examples let's go to our repeat yeah, I go create new repeat to go get into that. Okay, Python. Create. You can give a title here for your repeat if you want. Okay, so for now, example. I'll create here variables So here I created the variable name message and it contains the string hello here. Okay. Then I will create a variable name n and variable name pi. Let me take the value. Pi, 
okay so now this variable message contain the string hello world variable n contains the integer 1 and pi contains the value of pi okay whenever I refer to these variables it will give me that value for example if I say print sorry message so it's giving me so it's giving me what type so let's say print message it will print the value hello world no okay if i say print print in now it will print one hello world because of the first print statement and then print n when i run it it's run all the statement from one to five so hello world because of this statement and print n because of print one because of print n statement so for example if i say print print it will print the value of pi okay so every time I refer to pi it will refer to the value of pi so these variables refers to the value it contains okay then one thing here if I say print here it's printing hello world now if I change the value in message let's say I give a new string copy here let's say I say message and and again if I print the message what it will print then okay what will this fourth print statement is going to print this fourth statement okay. so now I run the program first one it prints the hello world then for the next one it prints I am learning Python so when I assign a new value for the variable it removes the old value in the container and it's put the new value okay so now on when I say message it will always uh, refer to the I am learning Python so when we have a variable it will contain the last assigned value okay value that we assigned at the last it will contain that value okay every time we refer to the variable it will refer to the value of the last assignment okay so here first we assigned hello world print message it gives me hello world now I'm saying I'm learning Python and when I say message from after this one it will print I'm learning it will refer to I'm learning Python this message will refer to I'm learning Python here onwards okay if we assign another string it will uh, assign that value for the string okay so how do we name variables okay normally we give meaningful names for variables so something that help us to identify the value inside like for example I can say first name Nadika okay
I can say that. Now I, sorry, uh, okay. First name Nadika, okay. Now I run print, print first name, it will print Nadika. Okay. So when we are naming variables, normally we give a meaningful name. Okay. But there are some rules, syntax rules for regarding the names of variables. We have to follow those. Okay. One thing variables can only contain numbers and uh, numbers and letters okay so we cannot have a space between uh, in a variable name because space is not allowed character okay for example if i say this it will give a syntax error see because here i use a invalid character to naming my variable okay that's why i use underscore underscores are allowed in variables name so we can use letters numbers and underscores okay then we cannot start a variable with a number okay for example if i say first name equals okay. This gives error because this I use first, okay? Number, I start a variable with a number. I can end variable with a number, okay? So I can say, for example, name, name one, okay? Like that, this is allowed, okay? I can say name one, okay? So this is allowed, see? Okay. Uh, so you can um, have numbers, letters and underscores in variable uh, names but you cannot start your variable with a number. Also you are not allowed to have special characters like this okay, in your variable's name. Uh, so if you are giving a two name variable like a two word variable name like a first name you can use underscore to separate the letters okay because space is not allowed okay like this so this is accepted okay there is another technique where people use it without a space but the second when you have a two word or three word variable later words they start with a capital okay first name so this is also allowed okay uh, usually we use simple letters for variables but this second name sometimes we call capitalize it instead of using underscore this type of variable name is called a camel case because this statement look like a camel okay so you can when you have two word uh, names you can use this technique or you can use simply use underscore okay i'll be using the underscore so I only use variables in print statements because that is the only what we covered until now but you can use variables in different spaces okay in calculations and stuff like we see later okay uh, so that is all about variables we will see how to use them in programs later in a later video okay hope this is clear